What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some very easy, gooey, fudgy keto brownies. These are the ingredients that you will need. This is what is gonna make your brownies fudgy and delicious. This is the California Olive Ranch Keto Blend Walnut Oil Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's 70% walnut oil, 30% extra virgin olive oil. You can find this in most grocery stores, Sprouts, Whole Foods, or on their website. You will need some unsweetened cocoa powder, some almond flour, your favorite sugar-free sweetener, this is the Lakanto granulated, some brown sugar-free sweetener, this is the Swerve Brown, a little bit of salt, some baking powder, two eggs, and your favorite sugar-free chocolate chips. I am using the Chalk Zero chocolate chips. And that is it. All right, I cracked my two eggs and put those in the bowl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add half a cup of olive oil. One cup of almond flour. Half a cup of each sweetener. This is half a cup of the brown sweetener and you want it packed in there. Half a cup of the regular granulated erythritol. Half a cup of cocoa. About one half of a teaspoon of salt. I just eyeball it, I put it in there already. And one teaspoon baking powder. Now we're gonna start mixing it up. Now that the chocolate chips are all mixed in, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this batter into my prepped baking dish. So all I did was lined my baking dish with a couple sheets of parchment paper and then I transferred the batter into the dish. An eight by eight pan would work best for this, but this was all I had, so now we're just gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees. All right, I just pulled them out of the oven. They smell so, so good. I had to bake mine a little bit longer because of the glass pan. Glass just takes a little bit longer when you bake. And also it's kind of a smaller pan than an eight by eight, so they're kind of deep. So if you're using a metal pan, 25-ish, 30-ish minutes will probably do you, but I did these for about 40. I'm gonna let them cool for quite a bit because they are just piping hot and then we'll go ahead and cut them up and I will show you what the finished product looks like. All right, the brownies have completely cooled. You can totally tell how fudgy and rich and dense these are. The olive oil with the chocolate chips just make these so ooey, gooey, and delicious. That walnut olive oil blend adds such a great flavor to this so definitely pick that up if you haven't tried it yet in my opinion makes the flavor profile of these so so good thanks so much for watching if you end up making these go ahead and leave a comment down below and i will see you in the next video bye guys